we are going to discuss about what is language across the curriculum in order to know about what is language across the curriculum we have to first know what is language so today we are going to learn about what is language and the principles what are the principles of language and what are the functions of language this topic is familiar to all of us but i am giving a small part tips of uh um, information about what is language so we will move on to the topic what is language first of all we will discuss what is language language is something which you um, need to communicate what we will we need to communicate the feeling thoughts etc of our our feeling our feeling thought etc to others so language is most important in our life in ancient period onwards people make give language people talk language or people make gestures in order to communicate each other then what do you mean by language language is a medium through which one can express one's idea one's idea thoughts feeling etc not only idea not only the thoughts not only the feelings all these things that we communicate we express with the medium is that medium to the medium that medium is known as language so language is a medium through which one can express one's idea thoughts feelings etc i am giving very simple words in order to explain it next what are the aims of language teaching why you teach language what is our aim as a teacher in order to teaching language first of all its ability to understand speaking language first the student or a child learn to speak in order to make it good proficient we have to teach have to learn it so the first aim of the language teaching is ability to understand speaking language ability to read in order to read we have to teach development of creative things thinking or the creative skills in order to develop creative skills we have to teach properly the language we have to teach language properly ability to understand the specific aspect of a language in order to understand the specific aspect of language you have to teach it properly then principles of language teaching the main principle is to principle of exercise that means more exercise more you do it more you speak it more you uh, write it you will learn more so exercising is the better thing in order to teaching language second one is it could be child centered learning the the language will be the language delivering will be in a child centered manner then only the child will be interested in learning so we have to teach it as child centered learning next one is principle of exposure to the language the exposure is the main thing in order to develop the language the exposure of um, uh, already i stated that exposition and exposure exposure is the main thing in order to express uh, various aspect we need in language we have to expose make exposure to the student to learn language well motivation and interest principle of motivation and interest motivation and interest is the main thing in order to develop the language we have to motivate and inter- make interest oral approach we know that the mo- very uh, important thing in the language is to uh, speak it, speak properly by speaking properly we can make the language uh, prof good 
next one is principle of habit formation we have to make a habit formation of language learning correlated with life we have to correlate it with life so language is correlated to our life so we have to correlate it in the classroom also principle of individual difference you know that the students are not uh, uh, identical all are different in different aspects so we have to consider the individual difference in order to teach language also functions of language the main function is information function in order to give information about the uh, about anything that you you have to know language in order to give proper information <laughs> for example if you are in a different going to different country and going to another country you have to know about what is happening there in order to know it you had to learn the language properly next one expressive one in order to express uh, things properly already i stated it directive function not to direct uh, many things we need a language preservative function not to preserve you know that uh, most of the things that we preserve on the basis of based upon the language language is good for preserving uh, many things that uh, we um, we write it in a book and preserve it here it is me it means that cultural preservation etc language can be divided into language can be the functions of language can be divided into two first one is primary function the second is secondary function the main and the primary function of language is expression in order to express things then the secondary functions secondary functions are directive function in order to direct uh, something to the students uh, next one is communicative function in order to communicate with each other next one is assertive function in order to uh, um, know in order to make proper understanding we need a uh, language of various uh, not know various things we have to know lang we have to learn properly the language you know to explain various things etc preservative function that means preserving our culture etc next one is cultural function culture not to preserve our culture we need language information informatory function we will later discuss about uh, the preservation and culture cultural background of the language etc functions in the classroom what are the functions in the classroom information function in order to give information in the classroom communication proper communication in order to make proper control communication or interact interaction we have to teach language very well next uh, instrumental function in order to make uh, uh, proper functioning of all instruments all the and that means teaching learning all these things needed uh, language proper language regulatory function not to regulate various things uh, we need a language personal function uh, each and every person needed language in order to develop themselves imagine it we are imagining most of the time we are imagining uh, <coughs> things the imagination is based upon the language itself so language Uh, means uh, it's a expression in order to use it uh, it's used for it's a medium for uh, expression expressing your thoughts ideas etc then in school uh, different languages are used we have to be proficient about these languages so uh, uh, we are concluding our topic a language what is language in a simple uh, sentence i said what is language and what is the what are their functions in the classroom and also general functions so uh, i think you understand all the areas so i am concluding this session and we will see in the next class 
Okay.